in your life is Jesus. Stand upon the rock of Jesus. Go to battle with the word of God, which is Jesus. And you can change any situation or circumstance in your life. Will it happen overnight? Maybe not. Might take weeks, might take months, might take years. But if you will stand upon the rock of Jesus Christ, and you will use his word, you can overcome. And you can be victorious in whatever battle you're going through. And no matter how long drawn out the battle is, remember, where were they fighting? You might remember any student, not an adult. With an R. Rephidim. And what does Rephidim mean? It means rest. And it was in the desert. So in the driest place of your life, you can still find rest in Jesus Christ. When you feel like you don't feel God anymore, where is he? If he was here, he would deliver me from this. No, he said, stand on the rock. He didn't say, I'm going to deliver you instantly. He said, stand on the rock. And so you can get to the next level. Now, so we're going to call this Jehovah Nisi. The Lord is my banner. This is why. When you marched to battle back then, okay, you took your banner, and you somebody held their banner, who they were, marched out in front when they went to battle. So when you saw them coming, they had their banner high, okay? And on top of that banner is going to be a gold ball when they had their banner. And you know what would reflect from the top of a gold ball out in the middle of a desert? You don't need to be a rocket scientist. What would reflect from a gold ball on the top? The sun. The sun would reflect. But it's not the S-U-N, it's the S-O-N. So when you go to battle, if you lift up your banner, which is Jesus Christ, you're going to stand on him, you're going to stand on the rock. When you go to battle, if you will lift up your banner, lift up Jesus, you will not lose a battle. The world may look at you and say, you lost that. No, 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 that don't mean you lost it because the world looks at it the way the world views it. It's the way he views it. Amen. And if you'll let the sun reflect from you everywhere you go, when the sun is lifted up, he said, I'll draw all men unto me. So you can't be afraid to lift up your banner. Here's a perfect example. Mm, thank you, Jesus. See that? I won that victory. It didn't hit my toes. That would hurt if I didn't lift one. Here's a perfect example of a banner right here. When I walk out, as I wore my shirt a couple times, sure, I've had a few people come in. Look at it. This is my banner guy. You don't have to wonder if I'm a believer when you see this. You think, like, hey, believer. Some people probably made their assumptions about the right way. Yeah, he probably going. He probably get all up in my face, and he probably he probably right wing this, and he far right, and he's intolerant, and blah 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 blah. But I'm none of those things. So if you're going to judge me, that's fine. This is my banner. It tells you who I am. What I've also had is no less than half a dozen people, and only the two times I've worn it in public, strike up a conversation with me because I got my banner. Amen. Because it just happens to be in gold full, and it reflects 